What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another movie review. Now, today here at BGB Media, we are going to be reviewing the film Last Call, which is going to be in theaters, on demand, and digitally March 19, 2021. And the reason I'm making sure 2021 is very, very vivid and evident and clear to you all is because there's a ton, a ton of films called last call so <laughs> just so you know exactly which one i'm talking about here we're talking about the one that is releasing in 2021 and the one that is written and directed by polio Pilati, excuse me and also stars um jeremy piven and um tyron manning so those should be your three indicators and a year as to exactly the one that I'm talking about here, just so you know. Yes, because there, whether you're looking on IMDb or you're looking for it on demand, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. So I just want to make sure you get to the right one here today. But uh, so this film, there was things I liked about it. There's things I didn't like about it. I'm going to instantly talk about first the length. This film was long. It was long. And to the point that I'm, I'm mentioning that it's long because it dragged that time. I felt like it was losing its purpose. The tone was a little bit all over the place that time. And even the resolution, I think I was kind of left thinking like, wait, did it get resolved? So I, I like still to this point, like I'm kind of wondering, like, I'm not sure because there was something happening. And then there was like a love story on top of it. And they kind of mixed, but they kind of didn't. <laughs> and so there was some family conflict. So like there was a bunch of different things kind of happening. And I just was still kind of wondering like, what? But I will say this, though. I do love that this film had a really cool message. And it was it, to me, it was like a love letter to all of the local mom and pop businesses and bars in the local Philly area, whether it's COVID or whether it's because of the issue that's at hand here. And the issue at hand is technically, you know, we're talking about real estate and we're talking about these smaller businesses, uh, you know, losing their business because of the bigger major corporations coming into town and running them out. Uh, so I love the idea that that's what this highlighted. And it definitely was um, a spotlight to the mom and pop businesses. Thus, um, even watching through the credits, you see all of these uh, original and, and local business in the Philly area uh, being put on display. So absolutely love that, uh, especially considering things with COVID. Um, you know, these businesses can get can use all the help that they can get. And I think that was a really beautiful way in doing so. But anyway, let me tell you what's happening here. So Jeremy Piven's character, Mick, he's a local success story and he's a real estate agent. He comes back in town because of a funeral. Uh, along with that, too, he also was like, well, since I'm here, let me make sure that, you know, our parents bar is being handled and maintained well. At the same time, too, he runs into his uh, childhood sweetheart. You know, that sort of thing starts to happen. But at the same time, too, he's also dealing with a lot of scrutiny from everybody because he left and, you know, he went and became successful and whatnot and everybody else stayed home. And, you know, you know, you know, that whole ordeal, like. If you've been to college or if you just ever went away for something, you know, or maybe you've seen it in other forms of media, then like you can relate to the idea of like, you know, once being an insider yet now feeling like an outsider type of thing. Uh, so that's all that's going on with that. Um, you got, you know, Mick and his brother completely two different dynamics. So you got really good contrast and character work there, uh, which is enjoyable, too. Um you know, again, flowered by the love story that's there, that that chemistry feels uh, very sometimes maybe even awkward. I'm not even sure. Like, I, I didn't really connect with the love story angle um, in this film. And then um, I will say, like, there was dry humor. So some of it's going to work for you. Some of it may not work for you. And the characters are very, very abstract like they're all of them are drastically different which is really cool as well too so i really love the character working this but yeah along with the dry humor there's dark humor as well too there's like definitely some dialogue that is uh really uh <laughs> maybe vulgar i guess we can use the word here um nonetheless you know whether it works or it doesn't work for you there, there, there is a big a range of different humor and dialogue going on here i will say this too not only is it like highlighting the mom and pop businesses in the Philadelphia area, too, 
it also is highlighting the Irish community in this part of Philadelphia as well. So you're getting, uh, you're, you're seeing a display of some tradition. Uh, you're seeing obviously a lot of uh, Irish dialogue and tone and uh, delivery <laughs> and, and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, that I think that's pretty cool. Whether it's genuine or not, I wouldn't know. But I think that even within the attempt to be able to show this community uh, in this film that, you know, may not get a lot of recognition and obviously, again, could use all the help. But considering everything with the pandemic going on here, um, I thought that was really cool. But again, like, you know, again, this film was long, felt like a drag. And it was times I liked it. I was really liking it. Sometimes I was just like, what is going on? Um, but it, overall, I'm not mad at it. This is a film I think it would be one of the ones to kind of leave up to your interpretation, to kind of check it out and see how you connect with it. Uh, and I think, you know, there's going to be some people that's going to enjoy it a lot more. There probably will be some people that will feel like me. It was just like, OK, it wasn't bad, but I wasn't really like completely invested into it but I, again i think the biggest part for me is that there were so many good abstract characters that at least one of these characters are going to make you laugh going to make you connect uh i don't know sympathy or whatnot uh there's there's going to be a different things i will i will say too there is some good performances um definitely tucked in this as well too uh, there was a local store owner uh who you know Despite, you know, the change in the community that's going on there and that this person was um, businesses was being um, getting ready to be taken away from their old clothes. Um, seeing that emotion of of, of, of of being alarmed and sort of almost caught off guard in, in, the, in the wake of the news, I thought that was really, really a good scene. And I think it's really going to speak to some of the ones who may have been in those situations. So I thought, you know. Definitely some good performances tucked in there with some supporting characters as well. So, but um, yeah, folks, check it out. Last call is on um demand digitally and in theaters March nineteenth. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, I'll be around for more reviews real soon. Thank you for watching, folks. <laughs>